Why am I wearing a bathing suit on camera? I'll tell you why. Um, so today we're doing an SPF video. So you guys have asked me for an SPF video for years and I always say, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. As I say with most of my videos that I either say I'm gonna do or have plans to do and then they just don't happen. I think the last couple of years I've said I'm working on an SPF video and it never comes to fruition. Well, you know what? This year it's happening, okay? SPF video is here. <laughs> so instead of just telling you about the SPFs, I wanna put most of them on for you. So I am makeupless, so that way I can do my favorite three SPFs in three sections of my face. So you guys can see white cast, you can see how easily it blends, things like that. Um, because just telling you about something is not enough information for some, uh, sometimes for some people. I mean, I like to see it in action. And then we're wearing a bathing suit for, again, sort of like maximum area coverage um, so I can show you some of these body products. Um, so I'm not gonna be, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you every single one, but I'm gonna do my best to show you, um, you know, everything. So I'm gonna show you my top three face favorites, but then I'm also gonna give you a couple of honorable mentions, ones that I won't be putting on my face. I'm gonna show you as many body products as I possibly can fit on my body in, you know, the space allotted, <laughs> which there's more surface area lately because, you know, Corona, Corona's got me inside, not exercising, eating my feelings. Uh, yeah, so that's happening. And yeah, that's just, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, okay, so I guess we'll start with face. So I've got five SPFs for the face that are like my favorites to use. Three, which I'm using the most frequently these days, um, and two that have been past favorites, but just I'm not using them right now, but they are still ones that I recommend because I do believe they're really good products and would be um, what somebody else could possibly really love if it fits into their routine. And I'll tell you why I'm not using them, you know, when we get to them. Okay, so before I get into applying, I'm gonna do one, one SPF on this area of my face, one here, and then one on my forehead. So, these are my three favorite face SPFs, and I love them all. They all blend in really easily. They all have really great ingredients, and um, so let's just get into them. So the first one is the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This one is really beautifully formulated. Um, yeah, so it's SPF 30. It is vegan. I'm pretty sure. I need to double check as I'm editing, but I'm pretty sure every single one of these that I'm gonna show you today is vegan. If it's not, I'll make a, I'll make a note of it somewhere because um, I don't wanna steer you guys wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're all vegan. So yes, yeah, so this is the Fit Glow one. We're gonna do this one on the forehead. I love this one because it's really easy to blend in. Um, it's got a nice texture, it's not runny. It's not so thick that it doesn't blend. I did too much. I forget I'm doing one part of my face and not my whole face so we're just doing the forehead so i don't need so yeah as you can see because i wanted to show you guys white cast i wanted to show you how easily it blends in this one blends in invisible there is zero white cast on this one at least none that i can see you know what i'll just try to blend it <laughs> i don't want to waste it or like put it on my legs or whatever but um, a little on my eyebrow. But yeah, even still, two coats, blends in, zero white cast. Um, I've used this under makeup. Um, it works beautifully under makeup. So let's see, it's a powerhouse environmental defense moisturizer to protect skin from what ages it most, UVA and UVB sun damage. It's got skin soothing, skin soothing zinc oxide, offers broad spectrum sun protection to prevent sunburn, dark spots, and fine lines. Natural safflower oleosums. Um, this moisturizer glides on evenly and smoothly to deliver all day comfort and hydration. Antioxidant rich sunflower oil boosts skin defense against free radical damage while improving moisture retention and elasticity. So yes, this is one of my favorites. I've been using this one. I want to say she released it. Did she release it last summer? Or was it earlier? Was it like within the last six months? I feel like I've been using it at least six months, but I love this. Um, I let it sit for a while before I put actual makeup on and it, I never have an issue putting makeup on over, uh, over top of it. 
Um, you know, I don't go outside a ton. I'm kind of a hermit or maybe like a vampire <laughs> where I don't see the sun that often. And it's actually going to hit the 100s uh, for the very first time this weekend. You know, not that I'm spending that much time outdoors, but like still, eventually I'm gonna take my kid outside. We're gonna ride a bike or something. Like I've been a real, I've been, I've been real, real uh, not dealing with this confinement thing well. Like we're not even going outside and like, we haven't been going to the gym, so I feel like self-conscious about my body. Like, yes, I could work out at home, but like, it's hard when <laughs> you have to cook 18 times a day. But anyway, that's not what this is about. But yeah, so that's the Fickle one. That one is one of my favorites. Um, and I like would recommend that to anybody because it blends in invisibly. Like there is zero white cast on that. At least in the mirror, there's not. Is it a little bit brighter on the camera? I'm not really sure, but anyway. Yeah, the next one we've got is the Solera Sun Care uh, Time Traveler Ageless Daily Face Sunscreen SPF 30. Um, and this one is zinc, zinc oxide. This one is a newer one to the Beauty Hero store. They did send me, Beauty Heroes did send me all of the Solera Sun Care products that they use and I'm loving them. I think they're awesome. Again, really easy to blend in, little to minimal white cast. These ones probably will have a little bit more visible white cast, at least the body one I know does. I was refreshing last night and I noticed that the body one does have some, some white cast. Um, but it's an ultra sheer mineral daily sunscreen moisturizer that quickly melts into the skin, addressing past, addressing past photo damage and plumping fine lines with uh, helping, while helping to prevent future damage. Copper and probiotic inspired peptides, ceramides, and our 10 active plant DFNS blend provide an instant ageless blast of vitamins, antioxidants, and protection against digital and environmental aggressors. So let's do, a bit of this, a little bit less, or did I do the same amount? I might have. Again, nice and thick. It's almost more of like a little bit, like once you emulsify, it's a little bit waterier. As you can see, it's sort of, so I'm gonna try to do this part here. So this one does, you know what, well, maybe we'll be able to tell a little bit better once my uh, redness goes down. My skin always gets red when I touch it. But I do think that this one has a little bit more of like a white. Like a sort of visible whitening. Or maybe that was just my redness. I don't know. Either way, it's, it's again, it's still not bad. It's not like chalky. Um, it still smooths on very nicely. And once the redness dissipates. <laughs> Well, okay, maybe there's no, yeah, it is, it's ultra sheer. There is no whiteness there. It was just, it sort of looked white for a while because my skin was so red. But yeah, once the redness went down. And it feels, it feels almost the same as the Ficlo one. So if you're familiar with the Ficlo one, this one feels similar to the skin. I wouldn't say either one are tacky and eventually they do like dry down. I mean, not to like matte dry, but like enough so that it's not, your face is like a greasy mess. So I love both of those. And I love both of these two because they, in, it's more than just sun care, it's like face care as well. So you could probably use these as a moisturizer, but I sort of over moisturize my face. I do a face moisturizer and then I do a face oil. So I did do that before. So I am putting these on, um, on top of a face moisturizer already and a face oil. I just let them sit for a while. And there's no pilling, no balling up of the uh, sunscreen. So, I mean, that's nice too. But yeah, that's why I love these so much is because they are basically like skincare and sun care in one. I mean, this is the same too. This is the uh, Edible Beauty SPF 50. So if you're, if you're needing something with a bit more, like you're gonna be spending all day at the water park, maybe next summer, or the beach, or just like out hiking or whatever, and you want something with a little bit more SPF protection, this one is great because it is SPF 50. I think this is one of the higher SPFs in sort of like the natural. So this one is protective, nourishing, and hydrating, um, and it can be used on adults and babies. So bask in the beauty of our pure ocean-friendly sunscreen formula, providing broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection with zinc. Um, I think everything here has zinc. They're all reef friendly. They have none of the, you know, it, none of them are chemical. These are all mineral-based sunscreens. I don't use any chemical, uh, chemical sunscreens. This moisturizing sunscreen effortlessly glides onto skin clear and is enriched with vitamin E and rosehip oil to nourish the skin and provide a hydration boost. 
It's the ultimate natural and luxurious sunscreen. So this one um, is a bit of a thinner formula. It's not as thick as those other two. This one smells really good. I think it has, does it have lemongrass in it? It's got cockadoo plum, rose hip. Maybe it's just the camellia. Oh, it's got lemon oil. So it does have lemon oil in it, which is what that scent is coming from. So blending that one in again, we're all red. Oh, there goes my phone. So again, we'll get us, we'll sort of give this one a minute. This one is definitely more, more hydrating or more moisturizing than the other two because it definitely feels a little bit more oily. And again, I want to say that it's totally, um, there's no white cast. So this side is a bit, I guess, oilier because it's got more sort of like hydrating and moisturizing properties in it would be my, my guess. Um, this one does have coconut oil derived ingredients, not straight coconut oil, but it's got coconut oil derived ingredients. It's got castor oil, candelia, oh, it has a coconut oil in it. Forget what I said. Candelia uh, wax, coconut oil, vitamin E, rose hip, camellia seed, kakadu plum. So these are my top three picks for the face um, because again, they blend in pretty much invisibly and they all feel really great on the skin. I've used makeup over all three of them and it's been totally fine. There's no pilling. It doesn't mess with any other skincare and they all protect. I've never had a sunburn on my face. Uh, how, how much can you take that though? Because I don't see the sun that much, but the times that I have been out in the sun and it has been hot, I haven't burned um, wearing any of these three. So these are my top three for the face because I love how they blend in. I love they're invisible. I love the ingredients. I love the finish that they give the skin. I love the protection. So those are my top three face picks. And these are the other two that I would recommend to you that I'm just not using at the moment um, because those are sort of like my three favorites. So this one is the Hanua Malu Protecting Day Cream. Again, this is another great formula. Um, it's been a past Beauty Heroes favorite. Um, it smells a little bit more like jasmine, but this again, it blends in fine. No white cast, it blends in like all the way. I could have put this on my ears, I guess. And uh, the finish of it is about the same. I find it to be, you know, nice and moisturizing. None of them are sort of like drying, I guess. Though I don't really think that's an issue in Green Beauty um, sunscreens because they're all pretty like moisturizing and they use, you know, great skincare ingredients. But this is a great one too. Highly recommend this one. It's just not one that I'm using at the moment just because these other three are just, they're ones that I'm reaching for more. And then the last one, this is very old packaging. Um, it's the Earthwise Beauty Farazad's Veil SPF 30 powder. It's zinc oxide, aloe, rose absolute, pink chapa abs chompka, chomp chompaka absolute, geranium and frankincense. So it's an SPF powder. So you can either, you can use this a couple of different ways. So you can either use this on its own as like a powder over you know, say like I wanted to add an extra layer, I could powder it over my face. It will be a little bit um, white though. So that's not typically the way that I like to use it because like blending it over powders and stuff, it can be kind of difficult. Though you can do it. There just might be some like rubbing involved. Um, but the way that I prefer to use this is to mix it in with like a face oil. So I'll mix, so say, you know, I could actually be using this right now um, if I'm if it's on a day that I'm not wanting to put on like another kind of SPF um, because my face mo my face oil is my last step. That is what I like to mix this in is face oil. So if you're using, if you want to use this, if you want to use this instead of say like something like this, you can mix this in with your face oil and use that as a you know your face sunscreen. So you mix, I don't know, it's like a quarter of a teaspoon of the powder with. Um, 
eight or so drops of oil. I mean, that's how much oil I use on my face. I use eight drops of oil when I'm putting it on my face. Um, and then, yeah, I've, I've used it that way for quite a bit. I mixed it with Ruby. I love Ruby from Earthwise Beauty. It's a great facial oil and it mixes great with this. I do actually believe I have a demo of that on my channel. I'll link that down below because I, I'm pretty sure I demoed Farazad's Veil and Ruby together to show you how to mix them and how to apply them. This is another great sunscreen option. You can mix it into other moisturizers and things like that to sort of like create your own sunscreen. Maybe you don't like the formula of face sunscreens and you want to create your own, just mix it in with your moisturizer and you sort of have like your own custom blended face moisturizer. So that's another great option. Just again, not one I'm preferring to use at the moment, but it is one that I love and recommend. Um, okay, so I've got two different lip, sun lip balms. We've got the Hurrah SPF 15 Sun Lip Balm, and then the Solera Sun Care Hydrate and Plump Pout Protector SPF 15. So if you're needing, if you're needing lip SPF, they both do have a bit of a cast to them. So I'll, I'll try to do one, one lip and one the other. So these don't blend in sort of like, you know, the, the regular face sunscreens do. This one, um, I want to make sure that it comes out with the SPF on it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I wrote them together. Oh, well, you guys saw. The uh, Solera one has a little bit less of a white cast than the Hurrah one. But I'm betting if you're using a sun lip product, you don't really care that it's got an SPF. So like you're hiking or you're somewhere where your whole face is gonna be out in the sun. And you wanna make sure that every bit of your skin is protected. Um, make sure you also are you know, putting sunscreen on your ears. I didn't because I forgot, but if I'm out, I am putting sunscreen on like the whole part of my ear because my ears do burn pretty easily. But if you're going somewhere where sun care is like important and you're not really caring, you know, that you've got, um, I mean, you could blend it in eventually, but there's still a bit, a bit of a white cast. But there are lip, lip options out there with SPF, and I do believe Babo Botanicals makes a tinted version with SPF in them. I don't have any of those, but Babo Botanicals is um, a brand that we love, and we'll be talking about here in a minute. <laughs> so that is face. Um, I do have this one. I've never used it on my face, but you could use it on your face. This is the Kula Sport Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. It's the Citrus Mimosa Moisturizer. So this one does have a bit of a scent to it and you've gotta be careful when you're looking at the Kula ones if, if choosing only mineral sunscreen is important to you because Kula does do chemical sunscreens as well, which I almost bought one on accident because I did not realize that Kula did mineral and chemical. So make sure that you're looking for their mineral sunscreens if that's something that's important to you. I feel like they're really white now, <laughs> kind of obvious. So it's a concentrated formula, a little goes a long way. It says, protect and boost your skin's defense against aging caused by sun with this 80 minute water resistant farm to face sourced broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreen. This high performance and non-greasy mineral lotion has a natural citrus mimosa scent and contains 70% certified organic ingredients that protect and repair sun damaged skin. Organic um, arnica extract aids in reducing redness while seed oil from Hawaii's prized uh, kukui rich in omegas three and six helps balance moisture. Organic coconut oil hydrates skin as organic orange water balances skin tone. Or, uh, organic avocado oil high in vitamins A, B, E, and F moisturizes, soothes, and softens. Have your fun in the sun and then some. So you know what, I'll put this one on my neck actually. So here's what this one looks like. We'll do neck and chest, I guess. Just don't mind my phone dinging. I don't know who's texting me. Valeria, is it you? <laughs> um, so yeah, that one again, blends in clear. So that's another good option if you're looking for mineral-based sunscreen and you need something that's like easily accessible, I think. I mean, I don't, can you get any of these at the drugstore? I'm not actually sure, probably not. Um, but, you know, from like Detox Market or Beauty Hero sells most of these. Um, yeah, like the retail shops. Okay, so let's do the rest of the body. So my other body favorites 
So I'll start with these, I guess, because these are the ones I sort of use the most often when we're out and about, when you need a quick application. You know, for kids, they work really well as well. Um, I love the Derma E Ultra Sheer Mineral Body Sunscreen Mist, SPF 30. So it is a mist, if we can focus here. So I love this one. I've used this at the water park. I've used this when I'm out for like long periods of time. This is great. And then the other one we love is the Babo Botanicals Sheer Zinc Sunscreen SPF 30. Babo Botanicals is another super great clean brand. I love these because they're super easy to apply. Um, I'll, let's see, I'll show you. Whoop. I got my uh, I got my room, so we're going to try to apply this so you can see. Usually it comes out wider than that. Um, these do take a little bit longer, I found, to sort of like blend in. I might have done a little bit too much as well, just because I wasn't sure any was, any was actually coming out. I need to save the bottom of my arm for a, <laughs> a different sunscreen, so I'm trying to blend it all in up here. I might need to go and sit out in the sun after this to like, you know, get some use out of this sunscreen. So I don't waste any of it. So eventually it does blend in, but I have found that this one can take a little while to blend, especially depending on how much you use. But there you go. Again, all blended in. Love that one as well. And it's especially great, like I said, when you want something quick, you just want to like run it over your kids, run it over yourself, throw it in the locker, go. Love this one. And then the Babo Botanicals one again as well. Oh, there's the ice cream man. Okay, here's the Babo one. I don't usually do this indoors. <laughs> so. I wonder if I did not enough. I don't know. This one is definitely super clear. So yeah, this one also comes out, this one comes out more clear than the um, the Derma E one. So it's easier to blend in. But yeah, I love the Babo Botanicals. We also have another one that's a favorite that I didn't bring in here just because I can't find it. It's in one of the diaper bags somewhere. <laughs> um, but it's the, I'll, I'll leave a picture right here. It's the Babo Botanicals Clear Sunscreen and that's the one I like to use on Oliver a lot because he's got a lot less surface area of the face, you know, than I do so I don't have to blend as much. So I like something that I can take like the proper amount and blend it into his skin without sitting there and like mushing at his face for an hour, you know? And the Babo Botanical one, um, it really blends in really quickly but still giving, you know, protection to the face. So it's a lot, it's easy for me to just like swipe on his face. He's good to go. He's not mad at me for like rubbing on his face for 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend something like this if you've got kids and you just want to like spray them down with sunscreen and be like, okay, rub it in, bye. See you later. Um, yeah, when we were outside in the backyard and Oliver's playing in his little water table or like the water thing that he, I have for him, I'm always outside with a can of this. So like anytime I see that it's maybe been a little while since we've had some sunscreen, I just like run it on him. Um, his body, obviously, not the face. You don't put these on the face. So I do have like the other Babo Botanicals one, the clear zinc um, tube that I put on his face. But for the rest of the body, these are perfect. And I definitely prefer them to more like tube just because they're faster, they're easier. Um, but this is a tube uh, one that I love. So now we'll talk about this. This is a Solera Sun Care Clean Freak um, SPF 30. This one's naturally scented. They do have a couple of different... Um, Style. So this is another one that they've got. This one is the Glow Getter. Um, it's got like light reflecting particles in it. So I don't know if it's mica. Oh, hello. So I don't know if it's mica. I think it might be. Yeah, there's mica in here to sort of give it like a bit of a light reflecting. You can't you can't really tell until you're actually putting it on your skin. So maybe I'll do this one right here. So maybe we can catch the light a little bit. So this is what this one looks like. So we'll put it here. It, I mean, it's not, it's not too noticeable. Oh, I'm getting it on my bathing suit, not that it matters. <laughs> it's not too noticeable and it has a little bit of a scent. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. There's banana, vanilla, 
lavender strawberry. So it does it does sort of have like a, a vanilla fruity scent. Are we seeing any sort of like light reflecting? I mean, I can see it on my hand. There, I mean, it's not it's not super noticeable, but it's like if you want to glow, you know, but not look like glitter, because it doesn't. I mean, you won't look like a vampire from Twilight or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. But the the main one that I reach for is this one. It's the one without the uh, the glowing particles. So this is what this one looks like. And then we'll just put this sort of like on this area. And again, blends in really easily. I do like the way they smell. I know it can probably be too much for some people. So if you're super sensitive to scents, um, I mean, that might be something to think about. The uh, face one is unscented. I can't remember if they have an unscented body version or not, but these two are naturally scented. So whatever the ingredients are or in here, they do naturally scent it. So, but I, I mean, I don't mind it. I really like it. Again, it blends in very easily. It's very quick, quick blend. No white cast. You know, uh, Green Beauty sunscreen has come a long way. I feel like a lot of them used to have like a lot of white cast, but they've, they've really improved a lot. Uh, I, well, I mean, Badger. Badger has, at least from what I remember, I mean, they might have improved their formula since, but I haven't bought them in a while because they used to have such bad white cast. Um, Burt's Bees I used, I didn't really like that. Um, Green Goddess is okay, but I prefer these. Um, yeah, this, the next one I've got is the Meow Meow Tweet Everyday Sunscreen SPF 25. So if you want just like sort of a daily sunscreen, um, for your body. This one comes with a pump, super handy. So here's what this one looks like. This one is a little bit of a runnier formula and then we're just gonna do this one on this arm. It's got sort of another, sort of like natural scent again. I'm not sure what's geranium, rose geranium. And again, blends in super easily. I believe I saw, I, I feel like I wanna say that I saw reviews that this one was like hard to blend in, but I've never had that problem. Um, I really like this one. If you're looking for an everyday affordable sunscreen to put on your body, because sometimes finding an affordable sunscreen for your body that works can be really hard in the clean beauty space because so many are so expensive. Like I know Suntegrity has one that's like over $50 or something, um, and I love Suntegrity, but like I can't justify always spending that much money on body sunscreen, especially when you go through it so fast. This one I believe is $22. I did buy two bottles of this for myself when it launched because I wanted something that was super affordable had an SPF in it that I could put on um, and you know not have to worry about, and I love this one. You just pump some out, you rub it on, it blends in, no white cast, love it. So these are definitely my two top body picks, and then these are my favorite for more like active days when we're out at the beach or the, or the pool or the out in the, you know, the backyard or whatever, but like if I'm out and about, like if we're just, you know, out shopping all day or something like this is something I'll throw on my body because it's you put it on before you leave the house and you should be good to go okay so the next three are sort of the more like tinted finishing options you know like you don't necessarily have to do this and then one of these I wouldn't normally um, but for the sake of today's video we are gonna do one of them on top of the other sunscreens that I put on so these are my three picks for sort of like tinted, if you want something that's a tinted formula. Um, so my first is the De Ma Miel Atmospheric Excel Daily Hydrating Nectar. I've talked a lot about this one. This was a sidekick in a Beauty Heroes box. I fell in love with it. I ordered it. It raised, you know, it's gone up in price since then. So am I going to repurchase this? Probably not, but I love this stuff. <laughs> it, it pains me that it went up so much in price because it's now $128 to buy this. It's beautiful and I love it, but it's, it is very expensive. I am aware of that. <laughs> I mean, it's not as expensive as a Univello, which I cannot get to work for me. So, I mean, I guess it's, it's less expensive than Velo, but I love this. I'm not gonna put this one on my face because I am going to put something else on over my entire face. So it's not gonna be one of those three in one again. Um, but I think you guys have seen me use this. So this isn't necessarily tinted um, because it's, it doesn't, does it have a tint? 
I don't really think it's a tint. I think it's the ingredients that are in it. But it does sort of blur and even out the skin tone. Are we gonna, are we, there we go. So. Cause it's not, it's not necessarily a tint. God, I love this stuff. I love it, but it's so dang pricey. I mean, I might break down and buy it again, but I've still got, I've still got at least half this bottle left and it's, uh, it's still okay. So I don't know. I love that though. Love that. And it's, if you're in, if you have like a very high budget that you can spend on something and you want something that's more makeup than like this, if you, that, like this, I would put on under makeup. So instead of doing this, you know, any of the face sunscreens that I showed you, I would put on this. It doesn't have it listed as an SPF in the United States because there are different regulations that it has to meet and like, you know, testing that has to be done for it to be an SPF in the US. But I think, I believe it's SPF 30 in um, wherever it's made, England, London, I'm not sure, wherever it's made, it, I think it is list, listed as SPF 30. So keep that in mind as well, because I also do believe Velo is not listed as an SPF due to like testing regulations or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but the other one that I love a lot and is a lot more affordable, this one is the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. It's to treat, hydrate, protect, prime, and cover. So I would use this in the same way. I would use this as my only SPF and I would use it under makeup. This one does have a light tint. And I do use the shade Fair um, because the shade Light oxidizes on me. So that is something to consider is that some of these do oxidize, which is unfortunate. This is the shade Fair, which blends into pretty much nothing. Again, it's like a tint, but it's not really. So it's kind of like this. It just sort of like evens the skin tone and blurs, you know, blurs everything. But I like that it comes with a pump, very handy, blends in very nicely. They all almost sort of have like a vanilla scent. I don't know, is that like a common theme in sunscreens? Anyway, this one is sort of like the newest one on the market. And again, I would use this normally in place of sunscreen, but just for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna put it on over sunscreen. So this is the Ilia Super, Ser Super, Super Serum Skin Tint um, SPF 40. This one is more like makeup because it does provide a bit more coverage than the other two that I just showed you. So I'm using this in the shade um, S, ST4, ST4, Formosa. So give it a good shake before you use it. And then we're gonna take a couple of drops and we're gonna go all over the face with it. And the rest of that sunscreen on my face should be okay enough to put something on top of it at this point. So you dispense half a dropper into the palm of your hands and apply like a serum, build coverage as needed. Set with a powder. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I don't know, I don't know if how much, <laughs> I don't know how much that is. I don't know how much that is. So, I mean, even if you wanted to, you could put sunscreen on and then put this on because this is going on fine over all those sunscreens that I just put on my face. Maybe better, I don't know, because it's like super moisturized now. <laughs> Doesn't provide a ton of coverage as you can see. But if you're if you're like going out and you're spending like, you know, a day at the beach but you just want your skin you know, your skin tone evened or whatever. I'll definitely have to show you this on a day when I'm not wearing a lot of heavy moisturizing products underneath this so you can get a better idea of like what it looks like not on top of three different sunscreens. <laughs> Cause yeah, normally I wouldn't wear this with sunscreen, but I mean the finish of it is beautiful. Did it provide a ton of coverage? No, but I mean, you can build it up, I think. Let's do a little. We'll do like a tiny bit more on sort of like this area, which is sort of like my most offensive areas. I'm 
So yeah, that's that. That's the serum. So that's sort of more of like a makeup SPF product um, without being too, you know, like makeup-y, too heavy. I still haven't watched anybody else's videos on this. Um, so I actually don't know what it looks like on other people. It's possible that it could look more like makeup on some other people. I'm not really sure, but I've got a lot of discoloration. I've got a lot of hyperpigmentation, melasma. I've got more things to cover than most people. So when maybe I'll do a review of this for like acne prone, discolored skin. Like maybe that's the angle I'll go at it. Cause I definitely don't have perfect skin. You know, I do have nicer skin today that I've had in a while. But it's still, I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about finishing products. So products that you can put on, um, you know, like after your makeup, um, as the day goes on to sort of refresh your SPF. If you put on SPF, but then you put makeup on, you obviously don't wanna go back in with a face sunscreen and put more on top of your makeup. That doesn't really work. So these are products that you can use on top of your makeup to still add SPF protection. If maybe you work out in the sun and you need like a refresher midday for the kind of, you know, the job that you have. I don't know, is anybody out walking? I mean, if you are, if you like, I don't know, does anybody even go out on the streets anymore? I don't know. I've got three different kinds that I sort of like rotate through. Well, three different products. So first is the Zinc It Over, uh, it's the Seriously Fab Zinc It Over Sunscreen Facial Mist, SPF 25. It's for use over makeup. You can sort of use it as like a setting spray. I'm not gonna spray this one on because I do wanna use a powder. But yeah, this is, um, it's got like a finer mist. She does have a couple of different scents. This one is the Fresh Green scent. It is a bit expensive. I do believe they're like $39 a bottle, I think, but I do like them for misting over makeup. You just wanna make sure you get yourself at like a far enough, you know, far enough away because the droplets can sometimes be kind of big on the face, um, you know, when you spray it on. But I do really like that as a you know, SPF refresher when you can't put on regular SPF because you've got makeup on or something like that. Um, these are other options that I like when you're wearing makeup and you want an SPF refresher, but again, you don't, maybe you don't like this idea. Maybe you don't like the idea of spraying something on your face, even though it can sort of act as like a setting spray. Um, these are two powder options. So this is the Derma E Essential Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. Are you actually getting SPF 30 when you put this on your face? I don't know, that's probably debatable because how much are you really putting on? Um, you know, you wanna sort of like dispense it down and then we're just going to dab it over the face in this case because I don't wanna blend too much of that other powder away because I wanna try to put makeup or that other, you know, the makeup on top of it because I do wanna try to put makeup. Makeup on today, we'll see. But yeah, this one you just sort of like dab the powder down. You can see it comes out, it sort of like dispenses from the bottom into the brush. And then you just sort of like re-dab it on. Doesn't disturb the makeup, provides you a little extra coverage. And then let's see. This is, it's titanium and zinc oxide is what's in here. Um, and then the other one that I've got is the Ilia Magic Sands. Um, translucent powder SPF 20 so it's the same concept only it's in you know loose powder form versus well I mean this is loose powder but it's like in a brush I do believe Ilya has one of these in a brush as well but I think it's actually less product so this is uh, seven grams which is like the typical size of like a foundation or something and it's um, non nano zinc oxide 19% it's also mica, cornstarch, kaolin, um, rosemary, thyme, aloe vera, hibiscus. It's got some good stuff in it. And so then this one is the tinted version. I didn't bring a brush in here, so let me go grab one. So I'm just taking sort of like a medium powder brush. Um, and again, does this actually provide SPF 20 coverage? I don't really know because it, it I mean, it depends how much you're actually putting on your face. So I don't really know how much coverage this actually provides SPF wise, but I mean, it's easy to um, 
sort of like refresh throughout the day. I definitely prefer sort of this application to this because I don't feel like I'm getting as much coverage with this one. Um, but it is if you're like someone who's more on the go and you just want to swipe something on. Um, but I'm going to actually go over the Derma E side with more powder because I want to make sure that, you know, it looks even. <laughs> so if I was going to go for one of the two, I would definitely, I, for me, I would prefer this method because um, I think you, you might actually get more sun protection this way than out of those ones with a stick. Um, I just don't think the stick one, you know, dispenses enough product. Um, and this way you can actually control how much product you're putting on your face. So that's that. So those are the three sort of more like finishing products that I've got and um, would recommend. So this isn't my first choice, but if you're someone who's more on the go, you don't wanna deal with like a powder and a brush. If you're like out in the car, you just need a quick refresher. Um, you can go with something more like this or it, like again, Ilya does have one like this. Maybe the dispenser on the Ilya one is better. I'm not really sure. This is four grams um, where this one is seven grams. So it's, I mean, you're getting more product in the, um, in the Ilya one, but it's also like different packaging. So yeah, that is everything that I've got for today's SPF video. Long awaited as I promised this like every year for the last, I don't know, two or three years. And um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I hoped, I hope watching me apply pretty much every single one of these was helpful in determining, you know, which one you want to use, which, you know, I mean, they're all really easy to use and they all blend in. I don't think a single one besides like the lip products left any kind of white cast. Um, I love every, I mean, that's why I chose them all. I mean, these are my favorites out of the ones that I've tried. And um, I just, I think these are all really great products. And yeah, of the options out there, these are definitely my top picks. I mean, there are still some that I still want to try. I do really want to, want to try the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. Um, that's one that's been on my radar for quite a while. Anybody who's tried it, how similar is it to the 5-in-1? Because I do really like the 5-in-1. I think the Impeccable Skin one, is it does it have more coverage? I'm also concerned about the coloring on the Impeccable Skin one too because the light in this does oxidize. So if anybody has Impeccable Skin, does it oxidize? Should I go a shade? Should I go in fair on the impeccable skin too? But I don't want it to be too light. Anyway, that one is, is one that's on my list of ones that I want to try eventually. Um, I do also really like the Hint Beauty Sun Prep. Um, it's just, I prefer some of these other ones over that one, but that one is also, it's again, it's another great product. It's just not one that I'm using at the moment. Um, let me see. So the Ilia Moon Dance Radiant Translucent Powder is out of stock on the detox market. Um, but I want to see, I want to see how many, it's 2.3 grams. So it's actually smaller. It's smaller than the Derma E one. Derma E is four grams. Um, so Well People has a moisturizer SPF 30 that I haven't tried um babo yeah we talked about babo kipris is the pot of shade i haven't tried that but it seems very expensive um i mean there's is there much more that i want to try even maybe there's not there's not too much else that i want to try but yeah if you've been wondering what my favorite sun products are especially because now we're moving into summer um how much time are we going to be spending outside i don't know um I don't think I'm gonna be seeing a beach this year. I mean, we, we'd initially talked about going back to Legoland, um, you know, in June or July, sort of like around the summertime when their water park part was open, but I doubt that's gonna be happening this year given everything that's going on. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just have to make do with like outside water toys. So, I mean, I'll, I'll try to find some time to spend outside. <laughs> Especially because like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna to start to get in the hundreds here in the next couple of days and like, I'm not excited for it, but it is what it is. It happens. So, yeah, I am going to put on some concealer. Holy moly. And um, film another video or two, as many as I can get out of today. But, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. Um, you know, if you've been looking for SPF recommendations, if, you know, this, like I said, this method, again, was really helpful for you to be able to see them in action versus just someone telling you about them. Because, I mean, it's easy to tell you that something does one thing, but it possibly could not be doing that thing that they're saying. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I like to see stuff in action before I buy it because I want to make sure that I'm buying, you know, the right thing. So I hope that this was very helpful. 
Um, and if you have any other questions, if you, I don't know, just want to talk SPF or something, I don't just leave all your comments down below. Again, I hope that this was helpful. Have I said that eight times now? I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye.